morning. Hop in the old Cummins here. Oh, I love the sound of this truck. So we'll let that warm up. I'm gonna go get some coffee and we'll start our day. All right, got my coffee and we are good to go. I guess my uncle forgot to turn off the TV last night. He left, left Netflix on. He's watching the House of Cards. Not really the best show in the world, but okay. So we're just gonna head over to the farm right now. We finished spraying herbicide on our fields and today we're gonna start spraying some liquid fertilizer onto the fields as well, get the most possible yield out of it. My uncle should be here already, if not, what the plan is, we have a truck with a trailer loaded with uh, liquid fertilizer on it, which is right there. The only problem is, is that the sprayer is still on the field that we finished off last. We still have beans yet to spray some herbicide on to kill the weeds, but it's just not ready yet. The beans won't take it. If we do spray herbicide on the beans now, it probably will end up hurting most of that crop. So we're not, we're gonna wait a few more days until we actually spray herbicide on the beans. So we're gonna get this loaded into the sprayer, but I'm gonna need a ride out to the field in order to get the sprayer back here. And then the sprayer still has quite a bit of herbicide in it. We're gonna have to unload that back into the totes and then load this stuff up into the sprayer and then start spraying some liquid today. Thanks, uncle. So my uncle just dropped me off. I'm gonna start this thing up. Fires right up every time. I'm gonna turn on our hazards and our beacon lights and we'll head back to the farm. So I've been in contact with the guy that we're buying the farm from in Minnesota. Currently right now, he said he's spraying his beans and his corn, but he said he wants to rush his harvest. The only reason he wants to rush his harvest is because he wants me to get the farm as soon as possible. And I told him not to rush because my uncle is letting us stay in that house right there off to the right. Until we can get to the new farm in Minnesota, my uncle's letting us stay here pretty much for free, but we're helping him out on the farm throughout the year. So I told the guy not to really rush it, but I guess he's gonna rush his harvest so we can get to that farm faster. So I'm gonna unload this herbicide into the totes right here for right now, and we'll deal with it later on. So I got these things, so I got all the herbicide dumped into these totes here. Kind of left it a mess, but we're gonna end up needing this anyways when we go back to spraying beans in the next few days here. So Uncle said he's gonna spray the liquid fertilizer on for today. I got some other things around the farm to do. But before we go back to the farm, we're gonna get some drone footage for you guys. wants me to set up one of the augers on the far bins towards the west side of the farm. We're going to get one of these augers set up on these bins and then we're going to pull in both combines into the shop and make sure they're ready to go and get the headers ready to go, make sure everything's turning, make sure everything's greased so then we know the combines are good to go out into the field. So we got this 4640 here and we also got a 4440 but I think he said he wants the 4640 hooked up to the auger first. And this one starts pretty hard. Let's, uh, let's wait for it to start up here. All right, clutch in. And let's try to crank this baby. Oh, there she goes. Oof. Yeah. 
There we go. She fires right up. Have to raise the auger up a little bit. And hopefully we don't hit anything. If I hit something on this farm, I wouldn't want that to happen, especially when my uncle's let me pretty much stay here for free. We have a change of plans here. The orange auger is actually not long enough to actually reach up to the top of the bin. So we're actually gonna have to use this um, Brandt Farm King auger to get up into the bin. I do, I'm do. i new to his farm, so I do believe he uses the Brandt Farm King one to actually load the bins. And when he goes to unload, he uses the orange auger. We'll raise this auger up a little bit more just to make sure we have enough clearance. And again, we'll try not to hit anything. That looks pretty good if I say so myself. Alright, so we got that done for right now. Now we're going to go to the shop. We're going to open the door. We're going to unhook both combine headers and hopefully both combines will fit into the shop. I'm not too sure, but we're about to find out. Question is, are we going to fit into the shop? I'm not too sure. Hopefully. Looks pretty tight. I think we can do it. If we go real slow. Should just fit. Oh yeah, we got lots of room. We'll pull it up here as far as possible without hitting anything can we fit two john deere combines into the shop of course we can lots of room okay maybe not it's not a big deal the door can stay open anyways it's a nice day out i want to enjoy the weather i don't want to be stuck in a shop all day and it won't take too long anyways to get these things fully serviced greased make sure everything is set ready to go so i'm going to get back to you guys once i have these things greased and then we'll go pick up the headers and we'll make sure everything's turning and the combine should be ready to go. So we got both headers attached. I'm gonna unfold this beast. So I called my uncle back to the yard. As I was running this header, there were some nasty noises. I don't know why. And this happened back on my farm back in Montana. If you guys remember, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys would know that I had a feeder house problem on one of my combines. But I'm really hoping that this is not the problem. So then I get my uncle here to start the header up, and I'm going to try to listen and see if there's anything going on inside or where this loud banging is coming from. I'm not too sure what the problem is. It's gone. I don't know what happened here. Yep, turn it off. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but that was weird. When I first turned that header on, it was making some loud noises. I don't know what was going on there, but it was, it was nasty, but now it stopped, so I don't know. Everything should be good to go. But I'll get you loaded up here with some liquid fur so you can keep going. So my uncle's off and going. Spraying more liquid on the canola now. I'm not too sure what was going on with this combine over here, but everything seems to be working fine now. There's no noises, but we're going to keep an eye on it when we start harvest. Good thing is we used up all the liquid fertilizer, so we're going to use it up now on the rest of this field. And we, after the canola field, we got one more field of canola as well, just a few miles south of here. And we're going to spray some liquid on that as well. And that's going to conclude another video for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.